Hello, hello, hello there, my beautiful butterflies. Hi there, it's me, Penny Salcedo, and welcome back to this channel, your channel, the personally yours, Penny Salcedo. Oh, sorry, personally yours, <laughs> the Penny Salcedo vlogs. <laughs> I said the Penny, the personally yours. Sorry about that. <laughs> Personally yours, the Penny Salcedo Vlogs. And yes, welcome back, my beautiful butterflies. How are you all doing? I hope and I trust that everything and all is well to each and all of you, of course, by God's grace and together with our Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. I do wish and I pray that everything is fine with each and every one of yous. <laughs> yas, yas. Okay, so before we get right down to today's Bible share, um, of course, today is part five, part five of our uh, Bible reading, a Bible share. I've named it uh, daily, by the Bible daily, but um, I think it will have to change. Hopefully, I can do it as every day as I can. Um, like, what happened last week um we've had some circumstance here um regarding greatly my son who has been hospitalized but 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 by god's beautiful and glorious grace and uh, you know in the mighty name of jesus christ and together with the works of the holy spirit the holy fires of the holy spirit truly 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 um it, it they they all really worked and it was made sure that my son supernaturally my son is all fine and um yes thanks be and all glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit for that. And I will share that on a on a separate video because um, um, it is in fact an opportunity to share the greatness of the Lord. You know, to especially to those who believe not only goes with faith but you know truly trusts and entrusts that God, the Lord Jesus Christ, our Abba Father God, the Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, really really solid, solid, holy, trying God is what we have. So I will be sharing that story with all of you on a different video. But yeah, for today, once again, welcome back to our channel. And we are on part five of our Bible share. And before I be reading to all of you, and once again, today we have Noah and the flood and God's covenant with Noah. That's what we'll be reading for today. But before that, before that, may I please and sweetly kindly invite you to subscribe to this channel if you still have not. And don't forget to click on the bell icon. And to those of you who's already subscribed but you have not go please do double check if you had clicked on the bell icon because it's the bell icon that will give you notifications each and every time i have new videos up on here and it would be so lovely and so beautiful and thank you so much if you give this video a thumbs up and as well leave a comment even just to say hi i want to know where you're watching me from and of course comments if you have any questions at all please do and i'll try my all best under the guidance of the holy spirit to be asking questions or you know even prayers oh i would love i would love to receive any prayer requests yes um please do please do don't be shy don't be shy take this entire platform right here to be asking for prayers and if um you're in a transition into uh, um, accepting the lord jesus christ in your life please do use this platform right here it's this platform is not for me but it's for all of you and doing this of course servicing our heavenly father god is serving our lord jesus christ and the holy spirit be that the, the holy spirit's guidance is upon us so yes yes <laughs> oh and as well before i forget also check out on the main channel on the home page of this channel personally yours the penny salcedo vlogs go to the main channel and check out the playlist go to the playlists and then just click on playlist and you will see right there playlist is like folders a different set of folders to everything that I have on this channel. And I also have vlogs. But of course, 
um, very core of this is to be sharing and explore, to be exploring and sharing everything that is about our Heavenly Father, God, our Holy Triune God, you know, and yeah, but I also do have um, other things here like personal vlogs with families and friends, you know, and I also happen to have cover songs. So just, just entirely rummage, rummage this channel and feel free to, to watch everything that I have here. Yes, yes, yes. Before we go to today's Bible share, let us begin, of course, with a prayer to guide us and to give us protection and to give us understanding that is from the heavenly kingdom. And so our heavenly Father God, Almighty, our Abba, Father God, creator of everything, creator, our ultimate creator, our holy and most divine and most powerful creator over the heavens and over the earth, together with your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior, our Redeemer, our ultimate teacher and example, our Messiah, our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living Father, the Son of the Living God, our Lord and most of all our King, and together with the most powerful intercession and intervention of the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, who's so meek and so mild and so gentle, yet most powerful and ever so faithful to be doing whatever you, Father God, commands. The Holy Spirit does it. Thank you. Thank you, our Heavenly Father God Almighty, our Lord Jesus Christ and our Holy Spirit. And into today's Bible share, please do guide us. Give us clear minds and let us not be disturbed to anything that is going on around us. We rebuke everything that is, and rebuke in Jesus' mighty name, everything that will just suddenly come into our minds and our thoughts. Bless us with understanding, Father God. Bless us with understanding that is not ours, but yours, so that we may be able to really fathom and really intake everything that is being shared here for this are your words father god almighty the this is this is not just a book of any storybook but this is a living and breathing book that is according to your words thank you so much our heavenly father god and bless us to have hearts and minds and souls desiring to be of service to you and your kingdom and to worship and exalt and praise only you, only you, Father God, in your heavenly kingdom, for only you deserve to be praised and worshiped for, and all exalting unto yours, Father God Almighty, together with our Lord Jesus Christ, our big brother, and our King, our Savior, the Lion of Judah, and together, with the Holy Spirit. All this, Father God, I ask and we ask in the mighty name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Amen. Yas, yas. <laughs> Let's go, butterflies. Okay, and today, part five of our Bible reading. This is Noah and the Flood. Noah and the Flood. This is the account of Noah and his family. Noah was a righteous man, blameless among the people of his time, and he walked faithfully with God. Noah had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Now the earth was corrupt in God's sight, and was full of violence. God saw how corrupt the earth had become, for all the people on earth had corrupted their ways. So God said to Noah, I am going to put an end to all people, for the earth is filled with violence because of them. I am surely going to destroy both them and the earth. So make yourself an ark of cypress wood, 
make rooms in it and coat it with pitch inside and out. This is how you are to build it. The ark is to be 300 cubits long, 50 cubits wide, and 30 cubits high. Make a roof for door in the side of the ark and make lower, middle, and upper decks. I am going to bring flood waters on the earth to destroy all life under the heavens, every creature that has the breath of life in it. Everything on earth will perish, but I will establish my covenant with you, and you will enter the ark, you and your sons and your wife and your sons' wives with you. You are to bring into the ark two of all living creatures, male and female, to keep them alive with you, two of every kind of bird, of every kind of animal, and of every kind of creature that moves along the ground will come to you to be kept alive. You are to take every kind of food that is to be eaten and store it away as food for you and for them. The Lord said to Noah, Go into the ark, you and your whole family, because I have found you righteous in this generation. Take with you seven pairs of every kind of clean animal, a male and its mate, and one pair of every kind of unclean animal, a male and its mate, and also seven pairs of every kind of bird, male and female, to keep their various kinds alive throughout the earth. Seven days from now, I will send rain on the earth for forty days and forty nights, and I will wipe from the face of the earth every living creature I have made. And Noah did all that the Lord commanded him. Noah was six hundred years old when he, the floodwaters came on the earth, and Noah and his sons, and his wife and his sons' wives entered the ark to escape the waters of the flood, pairs of clean and unclean animals, of birds and of all creatures that move along the ground, male and female, came to Noah and entered the ark, as God has commanded Noah. And after the seven days, the flood waters came on the earth. In the 600th year of Noah's life, on the 17th day of the second month, on that day, all the springs of the great deep burst forth, and the floodgates of the heavens were opened, and rain fell on the earth forty days and forty nights. On that very day, Noah and his sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, together with his wife and the wives of his three sons, entered the ark. They had with them every wild animal according to its kind, all livestock according to their kinds, every creature that moves along the ground according to its kind, and every bird according to its kind, everything with wings. Pairs of all creatures that have the breath of life in them came to Noah and entered the ark. The animals going in were male and female of every living thing, as God had commanded Noah. Then the Lord shut him in. For forty days the flood kept coming on the earth, and as the waters increased, they lifted the ark high above the earth. The waters rose and increased greatly on the earth, and the ark floated on the surface of the water. They rose greatly on the earth, and all the high mountains under the entire heavens were covered. The waters rose and covered the mountains to a depth of more than fifteen cubits. Every living thing that moved on land perished. Birds, livestock, wild animals, all the creatures that swarm over the earth, and all mankind. Everything on dry land that had the breath of life in its nostrils died. Every living thing on the face of the earth was wiped out. People and animals and the creatures that move along the ground and the birds were wiped from the earth. Only Noah was left and those with him in the ark. The waters flooded the earth for a hundred and fifty days. But God remembered Noah and all the wild animals and the livestock that were with him in the ark, and he sent a wind over the earth, and the waters receded. Now the springs of the deep and the floodgates of the heavens 
had been closed and the rain had stopped falling from the sky. The water receded steadily from the earth. At the end of the 150 days, the water had gone down. And on the 17th day of the seventh month, the ark came to rest on the mountains of Ararat. The waters continued to recede until the 10th month. And on the first day of the 10th month, the tops of the mountains became visible. After 40 days, Noah opened the window he had made in the ark and sent out a raven. And it kept flying back and forth until the water had dried up from the earth. Then he set, sent out a dove to see if the water had receded from the surface of the ground. But the dove could find nowhere to perch because there was water all over the surface of the earth. So it returned to Noah in the ark. He reached out his hand and took the dove and brought it back to himself in the ark. He waited seven more days and again sent out the dove from the ark. When the dove returned to him in the evening, there in its beak was a freshly plucked olive leaf. Then no one knew that the water had receded from the earth. He waited seven more days and sent the dove out again. But this time it did not return to him. By the first day of the first month of Noah's six hundred and first year, the water had dried up from the earth. Noah then removed the covering from the ark and saw that the surface of the ground was dry. By the twenty-seventh day of the second month, the earth was completely dry. Then God said to Noah, Come out of the ark, you and your wife and your sons and their wives. Bring out every kind of living creature that is with you, the birds, the animals, and all the creatures that move along the ground, so they can multiply on the earth and be fruitful and increase in number on it. So Noah came out together with his sons and his wife and his son's wives, all the animals and all the creatures that move along the ground and all the birds, everything that moves on land came out of the ark, one kind after another. Then Noah built an altar to the Lord and taking some of all the clean animals and clean birds, he sacrificed burnt offerings on it. The Lord smelled a pleasing aroma and said in his heart, Never again will I curse the ground because of humans, even though every inclination of the human heart is evil from childhood. And never again will I destroy all living creatures as I have done. As long as the earth endures, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night will never cease. God's Covenant with Noah Then God blessed Noah and his sons, saying to them, Be fruitful and increase in number and fill the earth. The fear and dread of you will fall on all the beasts of the earth and on all the birds in the sky, on every creature that moves along the ground and on all the fish in the sea. They are given into your hands. Everything that lives and moves about will be food for you. Just as I gave you the green plants, I now give you everything. But you must not eat meat that has its lifeblood still in it. And for your lifeblood, I will surely demand an accounting. I will demand an accounting from every animal and from each human being too. I will demand an accounting for the life of another human being. Whoever sheds human blood, by humans shall their blood be shed. For in the image of God has God made mankind. As for you, be fruitful and increase in number. Multiply on the earth and increase upon it. Then God said to Noah and to his sons with him, I now establish my covenant with you and with your descendants after you, and with every living creature that was with you, the birds, the livestock, and all the wild animals, all those that came out of the ark with you, every living creature on earth, I establish my covenant with you. Never again will all life be destroyed by the waters of a flood. Never again will there be a flood to destroy the earth. 
And God said, This is the sign of the covenant I am making between me and you and every living creature with you, a covenant for all generations to come. I have set my rainbow in the clouds, and it will be the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. Whenever I bring clouds over the earth and the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will remember my covenant between me and you and all living creatures of every kind. Never again will the waters become a flood to destroy all life. Whenever the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and all living creatures of every kind on the earth. So God said to Noah, This is the sign of the covenant I have established between me and all life on the earth. Yes, there you go, my beautiful butterflies. Our Bible share for today. And this is part five. And thanks be and all glory be to you, our Heavenly Father, God Almighty, our Lord Jesus Christ, our King and our Savior. And to you, our Holy Spirit, whose guidance is ever so present, we thank you so much, our Holy Triune God. And um, the part six, my beautiful butterflies, is of course the sons of Noah and the table of nations. So watch out for part six of our uh, Bible daily or day to day, <laughs> or as as much as I could. Um, uh, be sharing but I really 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 sincerely and deeply I really want to do this every single day and you know page by page I've actually personally I have read um, as much pages already but yeah I'm doing this so that to all of you who's never had any chance to read the Bible so please do check out the playlist for uh, the Bible daily or Bible day to day that playlist alone from part one and up to today's part so um, it's actually from the very beginning of this bible and yes before we before before we end this video once again i am sweetly inviting you all to please subscribe to this channel and um, don't forget to click on the bell icon and give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment let me know where you're watching me from or if you have any questions at all and i will not be answering just uh, according to my own understanding but in fact it will be well thought of and it will be um i will be asking the guidance of the holy spirit whatever question it is that you have and um yes not not just to the best of my own ability but in fact with the guidance of the holy spirit and to those of you who wish to have any prayer requests yes please again again this this platform this channel is for all of you this is not just for me to be doing um any uh, uh any content but in fact um this is entirely dedicated to all of you and of course for the ser to the service of our heavenly father god our lord jesus christ and the holy spirit and yes so god bless god bless and god be with all of you my beautiful butterflies and i always say this be motivated by motivational people and motivate others in return be inspired by inspirational people and inspire others in return be empowered by empowering people and empower others in return be blessed and be a blessing to others and all of this by the grace of our heavenly father god in the mighty name of jesus christ and i do speak the mighty name of jesus christ over you and yours your everything mentally emotionally physically spiritually and financially and to each and all your health your homes and to anywhere and everywhere you go all through the day and all through the night that God's Spirit be with all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I love you all, my beautiful butterflies. Be prayerful. Make prayer a part of your every single day, of your every single time. And do not be taken aback to be sharing, sharing the gospel of the Lord. Be sharing everything that God has done into your life and what He's still doing. And be sharing what you are greatly looking forward to. Be sharing all this between you 
and our Heavenly Father God, our Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. I love you all, my beautiful butterflies. Cheers! <laughs>